Hey Cootie Crew and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a plug haul and I know a ton of people in the comments have been suggesting different plug hauls. I've been at 14 millimeters here for a little bit and it's always nice to have extra jewelry and a size because that just keeps me from being too anxious to stretch up. Anyway, without too much further ado, let's get to the good part, the part you guys are here for. This plug haul is from urbanbodyjewelry.com and exciting news. I have a discount code for all of you guys to urbanbodyjewelry.com. So if you go ahead and use the code COODIE10, that'll give you 10% off when you check out. I'll go ahead and put that down in the description box as well. First off, thank you very much to Urban Body Jewelry for sharing some of this jewelry with me. I'm really excited to try it. Not only will I be showing you each of the pieces that I got, but I'm also going to review each of them, give you my first thoughts, how they feel, how they look, all that good stuff. And I'm trying to do this in the natural light so that you can kind of see best what they look like outside of my lighting, lighting setup. So this is the most natural light I can get at the moment, um, which will help you see exactly what they look like. I tried to get a couple of different things, you know, not just all of the same thing. And you guys have seen me wear all of these like plain glass stretching plugs so much. So I decided to branch out a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Uh, the first ones I'm gonna try, these are glow-in-the-dark lightning bolt plugs. Here's the plug up close. Ooh, look at that. And I got all of this jewelry in the 14 millimeter size. Um, some I got in a half inch, depending on the flare. These are glow-in-the-dark. They actually had a good amount of glow-in-the-dark options, so I wanted to pick one and just see how actually glow-in-the-dark they are. And because I love the color yellow, I got these lightning bolt ones. So these lightning bolt ones, these are acrylic on the outside, so it's kind of like a plastic material. And they are single flare, which is nice. So I could actually get them in the 14 millimeter size. Let's go ahead. So first I'm gonna see how they look in, and then I'm going to see if they actually glow in the dark. I'm hoping I can get that caught on camera. You know, I just like to use the millimeter measurements because it helps me keep track of things more. I know I've said that on my channel before, but for everybody else who uses the other measurements, these are 9 sixteenths. Here we go. So, I mean, initial look, I think they're really cute. One thing is that this like front flare is like pretty thick. So if I look from the side, you can kind of see it like still pops out a little bit. I mean, they're really cute. And from here, you can't really tell. Um, and since they're super lightweight, it's not like front heavy or anything. I think these are cute. And it's just like a little bit of a pop art vibe going on with these. But the real question, do they glow in the dark? If they glow in the dark, that's just going to be super duper cool. Um, it's kind of a cloudy day, so I don't know how much sun charging, I don't know how much glow in the dark charge they got, but I'll give it a try. Let's find out. All right, welcome to my small, poorly lit bathroom. But we're here to test the glow-in-the-dark capability of these plugs, because this is going to have no light once I close the door. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, you ready? They do, they glow in the dark. I hope you can see it. There's a little light coming from the camera. But can you tell that they're actually glowing? See? You can see it glowing, right? With my human eyeballs, I can see it glowing. And then because the lightning bolt is black, you can still see the design when it is glowing in the dark. How cool is that? I don't care how old I am, glow in the dark stuff is really cool. <laughs> That's very exciting. I'm probably gonna look at some more of the glow in the dark stuff then because it actually glows in the dark. And like I was saying, the it was only charging for a little bit in like cloudy light and it's still glowing. So that's a good sign for a super sunny day. These will probably really pop. One of my most recent videos, I was trying out silicone tunnels for the first time. And they were really cool because they were super lightweight and just made the size of my ear look more dramatic. These, I wanted to try silicone plugs. I haven't actually tried any yet, so I got a pair of those. And of course, because I love all things nautical or pirate 
themed. I got them with little anchors. So these are some black silicone plugs with anchors on them. They are a little bit 3D. So if you look from the side, will it focus? Maybe. If it focuses, you can see that the anchor kind of comes out a little bit. It's a little more 3D. And they're double flare, so they have a little lip on either side. They're a little bit squishy, but they're more firm and solid in the middle than I was expecting them to be. I guess I just kind of thought they would be more, like, airy in the middle and I could squish them a ton. I'm going to use up so much balm today. Taking all of this jewelry in and out. I hope my ear doesn't get too upset. Um, since it is double flare, I'm really hoping it squishes a little bit to get in there. Um, because they haven't sized up to the 15 millimeters yet. Well, these are harder to get in than I thought. Oh, shoot. I think I probably should have gotten these a little smaller. I figured because they were silicone, they would be a little more squishy. And I'd be able to get them in pretty easy. But they're putting up a little bit of a fight because of that double flare on there. I was just really expecting them to be just as squishy as the tunnels were. But like I said, these are pretty solid. I'll try one more time. All right, I'm not gonna force these in because then I have to worry about getting them out too. I don't wanna mess with that. Online, it says that the flare on these is one millimeter. Like I said, I didn't think that would be too much of a problem. Normally for double flare, I try to get a size smaller, but I thought they would be super squishy so then it would work out. Oh well, that's a bummer. I can't actually put them in, but I can let you know that these are really solid and they're hard to squish. They're made of silicone, so they're really lightweight. I probably would feel really lightweight in my ears. Ugh. Tear. I did see that they had some like hollow anchor silicone plugs, but I just really liked the 3D anchor on the front and they didn't really have that option in the hollow ones. Okay, next up, we're following the nautical theme here for the plugs. I got a pair of screw back stainless steel ones with a compass on the front, a nice little compass rose there. I really love all of the colors and the design on here is what really caught my eye because it's fun and nautical, but is also very colorful and intricate. At this size, it looks pretty good. The only thing is I can't really read what I'm guessing are the directions like north, south, east, and west. It's in fancy script and it's small, so I can't tell what they are. But otherwise, I think it's super cute. I love screw back. I know some people really can't stand them, but I love it because I know it's gonna stay in my ear and I don't have to worry about O-rings because I have a tendency of losing all of my O-rings. These are also hollow on the inside. Please hold while I screw the back on. Oh yeah, those are cute. Oh my gosh, I really like these. I think they complement my hair color also really well because it's like a warmer tone image there. I'll try to stop smacking them around. And I think it will pair really nice with like my gold jewelry and all of my nautical themed clothes. <gasps> wow, these are so cute. I really like these a lot. Yeah, my ears are getting angry. Okay, next up are some more double flares. Here, I got these. These are blue Howlite double flare plugs. And then they're not exactly the same because, you know, they're stone plugs, so I wouldn't expect them to be the same. And it even says on the webpage that they are not all the same. Right, but they're just super smooth and really lightweight, so I guess it feels a little bit more like plastic wood in terms of texture and things like that. I just love all of the different colors of blue. They're so fabulous. Makes my eyes pop. We'll see if these go in. Because I got these in um, 14 millimeters and the same as with the anchor these are. They have the double flare. I thought I was ready to size up to 15 millimeters, but this might prove me wrong. They're so pretty though, look at that. Let's pretend that they're in. Ah, ooh, ah. Okay, that color though, I love that color. And like I said, they feel really lightweight, so that's gonna be really nice. Okay, so for the 
the silicone double flare, I know what I was thinking and why I decided to get them in that size. But for those, I'm not really sure why I decided not to get a half inch. All right, and for the final pair, I've been saving these for last because I am so excited about these. My little punk princess heart is just bursting. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. <laughs> Look at these. How freaking cool are these? These are so cool. Um, these are steel, and they're the screwback tunnels. First of all, I wanted to get a pair of tunnels and I saw these and I was like, yes, these are them. I know I've been wearing a lot of gold lately, but um, you know, today's like today, this will totally go. And the spikes, so punk. I'm so excited to try these out. You know, I'm at the size where I want to be wearing a bunch of tunnels because I want to show off the size of my ears because it's taken me forever to get to this point. And I just absolutely love statement jewelry and I feel like these are these are good, you know? You know, screw back is great and all, but sometimes it's a pain to put in. Give me a second. There we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at how cool. That is, ignore the redness of my ear. I've been messing with it so much in the last like half an hour. That looks, that looks awesome. Super awesome. Okay, I'm gonna put the other one in. Okay, yeah, these are definitely my favorite out of this collection here that I got. I don't know why these are so difficult to get on. Normally I don't have as much of an issue with screw back ones. <laughs> Oh, yes. And then also for screwbacks, one thing I love is that I basically just start wearing them like double flare once I move up in sizes. Like my half inch uh, screwback tunnels that I got, I now just use those double flare tunnels so I don't screw and unscrew them anymore. I just pop them in and take them out like I would a double flare plug. All right. Okay, I'm leaving these in for the rest of the video. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you Urban Body Jewelry for sending all of this cool jewelry. Sorry everybody about the double flares. One I have an excuse for, the other I don't. But I hope at least my description of them in person was useful and a little close up video of them proved useful. And Yeah, I the reason I started stretching my ears in the first place was just because I loved the jewelry and the idea of being able to have jewelry that was a little was a little bigger and more bold. So I'm really, really excited to be at a place where I am loving the jewelry options. Again, thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget about that discount code. If this was useful or entertaining, as always, please give it a thumbs up. You can check out all the other videos I have on my channel. And if you wanna stay tuned for future videos, please subscribe. I know I still have some wish list items on things I want to try in terms of jewelry. So I wanna try out some different shapes like teardrop and coffin plugs. I haven't tried those yet. Uh, different types of hangers I want to try. Lots of things that I still have on my try list in terms of jewelry. Um, the comment section is open to you guys. Let me know what you thought, if you had a favorite, anything, maybe what your favorite type of jewelry is and why. You guys are seriously so great and I appreciate you so much. Big, big thank you as always to the Cootie Crew for being just solid and awesome. <laughs> Seriously. Thank you for the millionth time and I'll see you guys all next time.